Hey guys, this is Miss Harvey, um, and I will be teaching you guys math for today. I hope that you guys are all staying safe and healthy, um, and let's get started. So every day you guys will go into your math packet and you'll complete that day's work. So for today, Wednesday, you should have already completed and gone through and work through your Wednesday math problems. If you haven't worked through them yet, pause the video now and start working through them. Come back to the video when you are done working on the math for the day so that you can um, go over the problems that I discuss. Each day I'll only be discussing three to five problems. The rest of the problems you'll be doing independently. I will choose a different concept every day to go over so that you guys are getting a review on all the things we did all year long. So for today, the first problem that we're working on is um, this problem here. The dimensions of Mr. Tai's living room are 10 feet by 18 feet by 8 feet, and the dimensions of his family room are 14 feet by 20 feet by 8 feet. What is the total volume in cubic feet of the two rooms? So below you can see my work for this problem. Your work should be set up in a similar way so that it's staying organized and so that you can keep track of your um, answers. So I know that there are two different rooms. I need to find the volume for each room before I can find the total volume of both the rooms together. So my work is set up. I have the living room and the family room. And I did my work by writing out my volume formula, length times width times height. And then I plugged in the numbers that were given to me in my word problem. Then I solved. And as I'm solving, I'm making sure to do the work on the paper, and I'm making sure to include my units. So for the living room, if my dimensions were 10 feet by 18 feet by 8 feet, I plug those numbers in for the length, the width, and the height. Then I multiply them, and I got my volume of the living room to be 1,440 feet cubed. Then for the family room, I plugged in the dimensions that were given to me in the word problem. 14 feet by 20 feet by 8 feet. I multiplied them in order to get a volume of 2,240 feet cubed. But I'm not done yet because I have to find the total volume of both rooms. So that means that at the end, I have to add together those two volumes. We are adding here and not multiplying because volume is additive. That means if we're trying to figure out the volume of two separate figures and we're adding them together we're trying to figure out the total volume we'll do addition to do that so i'm doing 1440 feet cubed plus 2240 feet cubed my final answer should be 3680 feet cubed If you found that you had problems with this volume question, I would make sure to now go back to the other volume questions on Wednesday's packet and use this strategy to help you solve those volume problems. So after you are done checking your work with this problem, go to the next couple volume problems and try those out. See if the strategy that I used is now helping you solve those accurately. Moving on to the next question, guys. So the next one that we're going to solve together is um, the one that is on the screen right now. At the Middleton School Festival, a tent covers a rectangular space 30 and 1 half yards long, 9 and 1 third yards wide. What is the area in square yards covered by the tent? So what I did first, I'm given a word problem. I know that if I have a word problem, I need to make a model in order to represent what was given to me. So I made a model first. And my model shows that the length is 30 and 1 half yards and that the width is 9 and 1 third yards. I know that area is length times width. So I am going to now plug in those numbers in order to find the area. 9 and 1 third times 30 and 1 half. In the next video, I'll walk you through how to solve this.